Hello and welcome back to another Warlords of Draenor model preview. This time we're going to be having a look at a whole bunch of models that are going to be in the game, but this time in full 3D. And at the end of the video, I'm going to do a comparison between some of the old models from Burning Crusade and then some of the new ones from Warlords. But first of all, there are one or two models that I need to show you and... Um, I, I did go over some of these previously in a 2D video, but I think it's certainly worth getting a chance to have a look at a full 3D version. Now, this model that you're currently looking at is basically the fifth or maybe fourth boss from the Firelands, but reskinned. I have no idea what this is going to be in Warlords. I have no idea what the hell's up with it, but if you look at it, it's green. What does green mean in Warcraft? Generally, it means either plague or demons, and this looks quite a bit more demonic. So it'll be certainly cool to see how that pans out in-game. Not particularly sure, though, at the minute. Now, next we have this little guy. It's a toucan. Very, very nice model. It's got um, quite a lot of, I guess, just emotion. Not emotion. Uh, it, it looks like quite a, a, a swagger, I guess. That's the word. He kind of holds his, his beak up high like he, um, like he knows he's somebody. So I think it's a really cool model, actually. And I believe this is a thing engineers can make because... When I looked at the name of the model, it said Mechanical Toucan, which is interesting because it doesn't particularly look too mechanical to me. Still, though, an absolutely fantastic looking model, and I can't wait to get that in my collection of pets. Next, let's move on to this cute little guy. Come on, look at it. This is the Frostwolf Pop. It, look at it, look at his face. It's so nice. Yeah, I want one of these, but I'm hesitant to do pet battles with it because I don't want to hurt it, but... Whatever, I'm sure it'll be ferocious. Yeah, look, Blizzard know how to do cute sometimes. Just look at its eyes. Look at its eyes. Ah. Next, let's move on to something um, which is probably a lot less happy. Now, one thing just to note there, that little animation thing at the bottom is broken. They're supposed to be horizontal rather than vertical because they're like kind of pools of lava at the ground. But this is one of the new elementals looking really, really great, isn't it? Um, I love the things that are just sort of sticking out of it. It looks kind of sad. Actually, it looks like it's a tormented elemental, which makes sense based on the way that we have some in-game. We have these kind of like evil shamans which twist the elements and enslave them. And uh, perhaps this is one of the elements that have, has been uh, subject to that. Still a very cool looking fellow. And while he does look a little bit sad, I'm pretty sure he's probably going to try to clobber the hell out of us at some point. So yeah, cool enough. And I also like the degree of animation. Every single part of his body really is moving and... Um, yeah, just the way that they, they kind of, they don't look like they're floating, but everything looks loosely held together, and I think that's cool. Alright, next we have the new Draenor Ancients. Now, some people in a previous video said they didn't really like these as much as the old ones. Personally, I think that I, I do prefer them more, but mainly it's just that they're different, I suppose. These definitely look a lot more like they are um, Ents. And I guess, if you, if you take a look at the lore, Draenor is supposed to be a lot less twisted apart by all that like portal magic and stuff than basically um, ruined Outland. So it does make sense that the Ancients may be just a little bit less twisted and that kind of thing. So I think these guys really do fit with the expansion quite well and they just look great. They've got a lot of personality in their faces and overall just the body, the way the bark's kind of like armor plating on them, really cool. Um, and each one of them looks unique. I think this guy here is from Gorgrond. I've seen that some of the hot springs have got palm trees at them, so I'd imagine that's what he is. But uh, yeah, just take a look around. Really, really, really cool. Then finally we have this guy, who I'm assuming is from Shadowmoon Valley. Just by the color palette of him, it, that's what it would seem to be. And uh, yeah, once again, just looking really solid. Okay, now Chimeras. These guys look a lot better than the Chimeras we currently have in the game, of course, with the exception of the Iron Sky Reaver. Um, that was the Storm Mount that came out a while ago. The only criticism I have is I think that the transition here between their two necks is a little bit rough. I think that could be polished up a, a good bit more. But looking at the actual faces, they look really like they're snarling. They, they don't look happy. I think that really is quite a good sort of feat. They, they look good in my opinion, so definitely happy about that. And moving on, we just have one or two recolors. The tail's interesting, it's got this kind of hook thing. I'm guessing they could probably sort of smash that together in a, like a slicing motion. Which I'm assuming would be very painful, very very painful indeed. Overall though, definitely fits in with the idea of being brutal and savage. And if you just look at their actual body, very thin. Very 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 thin. Okay, so now we have a fan favourite. The, uh, the good old Kodo. Everyone likes Kodos, right? Um, I definitely do. 
And the Kodos are looking quite a bit better. They seem to have a lot more personality to them. Um, there's definitely a lot more variation in terms of their colors. Um, I, I guess I would prefer one or two that were just kind of wool around all of them, but I, I suppose that would look a little bit more like one of the um, Wrath of the Lich King rhinos. Still though, they're nice. I like that armor plating that they have going on and the spikes. Overall, they're just a lot more defined than the previous ones. The models are just the quality, you know, even in terms of polygons. There's just so much more. I'm not particularly sure about this one color variation. Yeah, this is the one guy that I probably won't have too many qualms about skinning once I've killed him. Now we move on to some of the pack codos, all loaded up with stuff. Looking nice, in my opinion. Um, it, you know, it's what, what you'd expect, obviously, but these codos do lend themselves well to that in terms of just the model. It makes sense. It looks pretty cool. And, or not codos. I've been saying codos. I mean cleft hoof. Ah, oh, stupid me. Though, maybe it'll be nice to see a codo get a similar treatment. Now, these are the, uh, the mount versions, of course, looking pretty damn solid. One thing, actually, I like the, like, that big main kind of tusk they have there. That looks really cool. So, yeah, it'll be fun getting a whole bunch of these as a mount. I don't believe we have a cleft hoof mount in the game yet. So, that's definitely cool. Alright, so next we have the boars. And if you just compare these to the hell boars that you see roaming around Hellfire Peninsula, they really do just look so much better. I think the, um, the actual definition of the face is nice. There's a lot more detail going on in there. And that's definitely good. They benefit from the increased amount of polygons. However, I don't think that in terms of raw fidelity, this is one of the better models. The reason for that is, of course, because of the hair. You know, that's I think that's still using that older, more Torin style of hair, which I just don't think looks that great. Honestly, they should really improve that at some point. And um, I would have hoped that Warlords would have been the opportunity that they would um, have taken to improve that. Anyway, so hair problems aside, this final model is, well, first of all, going to have a very hard time seeing. I mean, it does have these little things here, but I don't know if they'll be too useful. Still, though, it's a boar mount. I think that's really cool, but I, have to, I just have to wonder, will this be something players can ride? I don't particularly think so. It's actually looking slightly Akoa or Arakoa-ish at the minute, and the reason I don't think players could ride this is because we're too damn big. Maybe if you're a gnome or a dwarf, but if you're a tauren or an orc or maybe even a human, I don't know if uh, this will really work. So I'm not particularly sure if this will be a player um, specific mount. May just be an NPC one. Anyway, so next we have these little guys. They're called Gorin. They do seem like they have a lot of personality. And honestly, I have absolutely no idea who they are or what their affiliation is. They seem to have these natural backplates. So, yeah. I mean, they kind of, they make sense. They definitely look like they're a native creature to somewhere, which uh, makes me wonder, though. They've got fell green around them there. Could these be something to do with the Burning Legion? Maybe a race that the alternate uh, universe Draenor has, like, subjugated or something like that. There are some Burning Legion hints floating around with this expansion, you know, NPC names, some little things that we've seen from time to time. So it does beg the question, could they be here? Anyway, next we have the hippopotamus. Yeah, we finally have hippos in the game. Unfortunately, animations are a little bit funny in this guy. Let's see if we can get him to do his run animation. Yeah, there you go. Very big, actually. That animation definitely carries a lot of weight. If you just look at the sway on the model. Um, I think it's a really, really nice model, though. Um, I love that armored plating that they have. Um, just up around here. And then look at their tail. Unlike IRL hippopotamuses, that thing's um, more like a ste no, ste is it stegosaurus? Am I mixing up my dinosaurs? You know the one I mean. Very, very, very cool. And uh, once again, we just see there's a whole bunch of different variants. Like this one is more of an ice one, so perhaps we'll see this in um, maybe in Frostfire, perhaps, perhaps maybe one or two parts of Shadow Moon, because the moonlit sort of vibe fits in quite well with the color of its plating. Then next we have this. This definitely is looking a little bit more Gorgrondish, or perhaps some of the more um, volcanic parts of Frostfire. Still though, looking great. I love the face actually. I think there's a good bit of personality in there. So, good, good, yeah, good stuff. Now, fell orcs. Not fell orcs. Um, what are these called? Uh, golems. Let's just call them that for now. They appear to be using some of the animations from ghouls. They've got a pretty cool death. Um, do we have their run? Yeah, they're using that ghoul style run, which is kind of weird. So, what do I think of these guys? Well, I just have no idea what where they come from or what they're like what turns an orc into this. 
It's got to be some sort of energy, right? And who would supply that energy? What could it be from? Maybe Garrosh, or not Garrosh, um, Gromash could be doing experiments in some of them. Perhaps it could be the Burning Legion. We just don't know. But they're interesting enough, little guys. Um, yeah. Oh, just look at their faces. They're horrible. Ugh. Terrible stuff. Now, we have the Plant Hydra. I don't think this model looks too great. I mean, aesthetically, yeah, it's pretty cool. But it just needs more polygons. The joints between things need to be better. Honestly, I'm just going to write this one off as unfinished. So, yeah. Sucks to be you, Plant Hydra. And then next, we have the, uh, the Raven Lord style thing. But, of course, not the mount version. This is the new Raven Lord, but... Um, just, well, naked, I guess. You know, without a... Like a... Uh, what's it called? What do you call them? Think the things? Uh, saddle, that's it. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And um, once again, though, we've seen that mount before. So we know what the crack is. And then here's the pet. This is the pet that you actually get if you pre-order Warlords of Draenor, um, the, the collector's edition. I think it looks pretty cool. It could maybe do with one or two more high-resolution textures. But when you're zoomed out at the kind of battle pet scale, does that particularly matter? I guess not. Still, though, cool little guy. Um, now, Spore Bats. We all love Spore Bats, and these are definitely um, very much in keeping with the original Spore Bat aesthetic. They do look a lot better, of course. You know, higher resolution and all that stuff. They're very well animated. I love how they're floating there. And, uh, yeah, hey, I can't wait to just jump onto my Hunter and collect a new one. Next up, we have the Taburks, or whatever you, however you pronounce them. These are one of my favorite new models, actually. If you just look at the face, very proud creature, very regal, and it's one that has a lot of personality to it. Um, I really do get that vibe off them. I love those giant big antlers that they have as well. And just in terms of profile, the shape of the creature, it looks very muscly, very strong. It's a good old tail whip there. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite uh, things. I cannot wait to get some of the new models for, yeah, models for this. Perhaps an amount. One thing though, uh, a lot of people have wondered if the old ones are going to be updated. I don't think so, because the old ones are definitely their own unique model. I'd be happy enough if these were just a new Warlords thing, and then they just left the Burning Crusade stuff untouched, because there's no real reason to go back and change all of that. So yeah, a really, really, really nice model in my opinion. I also just really like how the, um, how that like fur is shaded. I think it looks great. So yeah. Oh, also, they'd be very hard to sit on with all those spikes in the sitting area. Not particularly good. Now this is a bit of a contentious looking one. It's not particularly great looking. Okay, like the, the quality of the thing strapped onto the back seems to be a little bit higher than the actual thing itself. This just looks like it needs a bit more of a, uh, I wouldn't, a texture, I guess? Just like more, ah, uh, more definition, more of a kind of grain to it. If you catch my drift, it just looks too flat. Not really too convincing. Though speaking of something that does look really fantastic, this Iron Horde Cannon. I love the detailing on it. Um, all the little nooks and uh, kind of cracks in the steel. Ah, oh, it just looks really great. Then the wood is very well shaded and detailed as well. Fantastic looking weapon, and I'm guessing we're going to see quite a lot of these things. Um, just from looking at some of the data mine scenario information. And now we have some wolves. I think these are similar enough to the new Siege of Orgrimmar style wolves, but I think they're really nice. And of course, with the Frost Wolf clan being added to the game, they need to make sure they have really fantastic looking wolves. If you just look at their head though, I think uh, it's a very well... Um, I don't want to say personified the right word, but they, they look like uh, just the snarl on them. It looks like it's got a lot of... Uh, it's, just, it's believable. Yeah, it's believable. Really nice looking model. Really, really nice. And when you move these onto the mounted version, they seem quite a bit more, well, I hate to say regal again. I already said it for the Tabrook, but they stand up proud. You know, they look like a... It, it's as if they took a savage wolf and then made it a noble steed and that works quite well and i know this is probably going to be more of a horde mount but the blue one i kind of want that for my alliance characters i um, definitely do and then of course the red being the traditional horde color overall though a really really solid looking mount and um, i love all the little detailing all the little things like this little pouch this potion vial um that, like a uh back not a backpack you know a, a thing sleeping bag styled sort of thing on it Lots of detailing there, and the, you know, the devil's in the detail. It's all those tiny little things that they can now add into models, which really just bring them up, polish them up, and make them look a lot better. So overall, I am very, very, very happy with these models. I think they look fantastic. 
and it just represents a overall increase in quality for the game and I think that is extremely important. Alright, so I actually decided that I'm going to leave the model comparison to another video. This one already ran for 15 minutes and uh, yeah, I'm just going to split it. But don't worry, you'll probably see that video appear on the channel today. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.